Okay, let's set up an active noise canceling filter on your microphone that will be live and constantly working, whether you're in game or in a Discord call or on Zoom. So it's also very lightweight, which is nice. There's no bloat. This is what it looks like. It just runs in your system tray with light host. And essentially, this is it. This is what we're getting. At. I don't have it turned on right now, so you'll hear later on how good it is. But it's it's very light and it's very effective. So let's get started. As always, links are in the description for everything here. Um, we're going to begin with downloading Lighthost. So it's a GitHub page. We can go over to the releases here, click on that. And then I'm going to install uh, the Windows 64 version. So you can just click on that to, to save it. And then similarly on the Wormin noise suppression, this is what's going to be doing all the heavy lifting here. Um, in GitHub, we can go to the releases as always. And then I'm going to download the Windows version of that. So once we have everything downloaded and extracted, we're left with two files here. So if this is your first time ever working with the VST plugin, you have to create a folder. So let's do that. I'm going to go to my C drive, program files, and I'm going to create a folder called VST plugins. So here it is. And now that we have that there, let's go ahead and go to our Wormin noise suppression folder. Click on that go to mono lv2 you'll see the rn noise mono dll file all you have to do is just drag and drop that dll file into the vst plugins folder that you just created that's where that's going to live remember it maybe leave this tab open for a second here until we get everything ready to go i'm going to close out of that now let's get lighthost up and running so open that, run the exe file, and you might notice that nothing really happens. Again, this lives in the system tray. It's extremely lightweight and easy to use. So in the bottom right corner, let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is what the logo looks like for Lighthost. You can left click and right click. These actions will do different things for Lighthost. So I'm going to left click it, go to edit plugins. Yours may be completely empty here. Um, click on options and scan for new plugins. All right. Hopefully that's all you'll have to do here and it will find that folder, find the plugins and everything. If not, then you may be able to add that folder. What I could do right now is just like click on this one and then I can click on change and then I can manually select where I want that folder to go. Hopefully you should have it available as an available plugin. So I'm going to exit out of all that and then go back to my system tray, left click. And now we're on available plugins here. You see that? Find Wormin. I'm going to do mono. And now it should show up eventually on your active plugins. So I'm going to navigate there, drag my mouse carefully over, hit edit. Okay, great. And here are the settings. VAD threshold. VAD stands for voice activity detection. The threshold here. This is how confident the system must be that it's hearing a human voice versus some background noise. The lower this number is, the more things get through. So we can drag that up to make sure that it's detecting a human voice. The grace period. The time that the voice is still allowed through after the voice stops. And then the retroactive VAD grace period, this lets audio before the voice detection be included. So this adds delay and latency, but also at the risk of it potentially being higher quality. So you can determine that for yourself, how much you want to do. Um, we can mess with it right now. The threshold, um, we could be kind of aggressive with it. Let's, I would say that this is aggressive. Less is more typically, and that can be said for a lot of audio related um, software. Um, I mean, we could do something like that, you know, and I still feel like that might be a lot. Um, so there you go. Now you have a very high quality noise suppression setup on your computer. Super easy. There you go.